I am Jeremiah Ajuda Dusu, the author of Jad's Business and Financial Accounting. Welcome to class. <clears throat> okay, let's not waste time today. Of course, we're still on the uh, group uh, profit and loss, right? And an income statement. Okay, so today, Today we're looking at um, of course when we say intra group loan, so we're talking about uh, loans within the world group. So we can simply say interest on what on loans within the group okay of course you understand what it means to uh give our loans or to advance a particular business right just like the same way you go to the bank to what to get uh, you know facilities so you can have an arrangement where the holding company is giving out loan to the subsidiary or I mean, the subsidiary is giving a loan to the holding company, but there's an interest on it, right? Good. So let's say, of course, you have, let's say, A Limited. This is the what? Uh, the holding company. And then we have B Limited. So this is the what? The subsidiary, right? So let's say A Limited, let's say, gives a, or give out, or let's say, gives a loan of uh, let's say 500 uh, to be limited at uh, let's say 10 percent interest eh, per annum okay so a limited gives a loan of 500 to be limited at what 10 percent interest per annum so what it means is that um B limited will not be what indebted to A limited, right? But every year B limited pays 10% interest. So it means that to one company it is an income, to the other company it's an expense. So we have interest income, and then we have what interest what expense. So of course 10% on 500 does. 10 over 100 times what? 500. So that's 50 per what? Per annum. So it means that every year, one company pays 50 naira as an expense, the other gets as a what? As an income. So from this scenario, it means that what A Limited has what they call interest income, B Limited has what? Interest what? Expense. So when they report separately, one person has an income, the other has an what? Expense, right? Now, when they, re when they report separately. So, let's see how it looks like or what it looks like. So, it means that, of course, you can have something like profit before interest and tax, right? So, this is what, uh, let's say, uh, this is what holding company or parent company, this is what? subsidiary right then we have cp and l which is the combined part so of course you have profit before interest and tax then you have what interest right so you can have interest what expense and then you have what interest what income of course it's presentation okay so that means after taking out the interest then you have what profit before what tax Okay, before you now have your what, tax, and then you have profit afterwards, tax, right? But here, this is where the attention is now. Interest, expense, interest, income. Of course, if A Limited is doing a loan to B Limited, 
at an annual what, interest of 10%, it means that 10% of this amount, which is what, 15 naira per annum, to the guy receiving the loan, which is what, be limited, of course, he's going to pay what, 50 as what, as an expense. Then to the guy that is giving out the loan, it's going to be an income of what, 50. So this is at separate entity level. This is what happens at separate entity level, right? Okay. Now, of course, expense items have this sign. Income, of course, positive, right? On the face of the word income statement, right? Good. So it means that, of course, at consolidation, what we expect is that we have holding company plus subsidiary. That will give us what? This. Then we have interest income here. Holding company will what? This, right? At CPA level. So this is at separate entity level, this is what will have happened. But of course, remember at CPA level, you're trying to what make the holding company income statement to be one with what the subsidiary's income statement. So at that level, it's as if you are giving yourself loans and then you're charging yourself for interest and you okay. You know all those sort of you know um, scenarios where you're saying you cannot be transacting with yourself in that sense. So what we're not saying is that of course there's an interest expense that would have been captured at separate entity level, which has been done. But now that we are consolidating, we're not asking ourselves if this interest expense is that which happens between you know the holding company and subsidiary, and now we are consolidating, we can't give us we can't be giving ourselves loan, and then we cannot be charging ourselves what interest because we are now one. They're like saying you're giving loan to yourself and then you're charging interest on yourself and then you won't pay you know that sort of scenario so that can happen at consolidation level so it means that what at consolidation we have to what, eliminate that okay so this is what would have happened assuming it is not you know an intra-group uh, interest but not as an intra-group interest that should not stand right so at this level we expect that there's a, going to be an adjustment so this will go out so it means that when you take this out, you dash. And here, adjustment again, this will go out. So when you take this out, it will what? It will dash. So what we're simply saying here is that you can have loans within the group and their interest will be charged. Of course, when they are reporting separately, the interest is captured accordingly. To the guy giving out the loan, it's an income. And then to the guy receiving the loan, of course, it's an expense. I mean the interest on the loan right now. Okay, because of course, when you give out loan, the person that is you know receiving the loan will pay interest on the loan. The person giving out the loan is what receiving interest on the loan, right? So to one it's an income, to the other it's an expense. So at income statement level, when they report separately, the one that has it as an income records as an income, the one that has a, as an expense records as an expense. That stands at separate entity level. But consolidation, you want to bring them together. You know, you begin to look at it as if you are, you know, giving yourself to do your channel yourself to interest, which cannot happen. So, in that essence, such intra group transaction in terms of interest on loan is what eliminated or adjusted for. Okay, now remember, we have used profit before interest and tax, interest, then profit before tax, tax, and then that is presentation. Some other accountants might have prepared their income statement such that. You know, they do not separate what interest and what um, interest expense from what uh, the um, total expense or for, you know, operating expense, you know, in their presentation. So you have to understand what the accountant has done so it doesn't look like you know, there's complication, okay? So sometimes accountants present it in such a way that all the expense is just one line item, okay? Before what? The tax. And then you would have be been able to give you the information that what the interest expense is already in the door, total expense. And then instead of having a separate line item for interest income, I mean from the perspective of the word, the guy that is what earning the word interest, they'll tell you that the interest income is already in the word other income. So the you know, the presentation might just show you that they are just you know one line item for other income and then there's just one line item for total expense. So in this case here, of course when I say profit before interest, that means there's already what an item for uh, sorry, line item for expenses, but interest and tax are not included. So they have separate line for interest, okay, then before you have profit before tax. But some other 
accountant. Okay, you might have, uh, you know, total expense, right? So in this total expense now, interest expense too is included. Okay? Of course, when you take a total expense from your gross profit, okay? So they expect that you have um, your what? Your, um, what do I call that? Let's call that um, operating profit, right? And then before you now have what? Other income. Okay, then you now have a um, profit before what tax, then you have what tax, then you have profit after what tax. So it's just presentation. So in this case here now, okay, the guy would have included, of course, you don't have holding company subsidiary, and then let's say CP and what else. So the interest expense would have been included here for the sub. And then the interest income would have been other income for the what, subsidiary, for the holding company, right? So just like the thing we have adjusted here, we're going to have 50, yeah, we're going to have what, 50, so this is that, this is that. So it's just presentation. Okay, some other guys would have done it this way. Some other guys would do it this way. So it's about information and clarity, right? So there's no need for necessary, um, you know, Arguing. So you have to just understand the presentation of the guy that has done the income statement at separate entity level. So once you gather your information, then you can go ahead and consolidate, right? So some other guy would have done it this way. And then some other guy would have done it this way. So you just understand, get your information, get clarity. Once you have the information required, then you can go ahead and consolidate. Remember, our attention here is on what? Interest on the loan that has, you know, been given and then received within the world group. So to one of the company is an income, to the other is an expense, which we have illustrated here. But this guy here is separating it from what? Other expense and other income. I want it as a separate line item, but this guy here has included the interest in total expense and also included the income in what? You get the point? That's a lot of arrangement. So, you just have the information and then adjust accordingly. So what I'm saying is that interest expense and interest income, okay, at every entity level can stand, but where you have that information that the interest expense and interest income is as a result of loan within the group, that has to be eliminated for. And that is what I've got explained here. Okay? So take your time, go through. If you have questions, reach me on the number and I'll be to reply with the right answer. So let's quickly take you know, straightforward questions so we understand what we're talking about here. Okay, let's take this question. So we have an idea who we're talking about. So here we have, um, say the following uh, represents um, the income standard of King's PLC and Queen's PLC at the level of the world. 18. So we have turnover, cost of sales, gross profit, total expense. Then we have operating income, operating profit. Then we have other income. We have profit before interest and tax, interest expense, interest income, profit before tax, calculation, food other tax. We have it all the way down there. Then we have additional information there. King's PLC acquired 95% shares in Queen's PLC on that very other system. When profit was 600,000 naira credit balance. So who's what? 1.3 30 percent profit margin be sold to Queen's PLC by King's PLC but yet to be sold by Queen's PLC as a data for reporting. Interest expense of Queen's PLC includes interest on a loan of 5 million received from King's PLC and another interest of what? Of 10 uh, percent. You are required to prepare uh consideration schedule and then the income statement for the year ended at 18. So this here is an income statement. Well, I tried, for we're trying to test, um, you know, intra-group uh, interest on loans, right? Or interest on intra-group loans, rather. Okay, so here, let's go. So we have um, the 
consolidation uh, schedule. So we have what we have kings here. We have queens. So we have our adjustment. We have C, P, and what? L, right? So let's go. We have turnover. What's the turnover here? We have 30, 26. What else? Cost of sales. Sixteen two hundred fourteen zero four zero. So this is gross profit. What we have here, thirteen eight hundred. And then eleven nine sixty. So what's the next one there? On total expense. What the total expense there? Three four fifty. Two nine ninety. Written profit. <clears throat> so what do we have? Ten three fifty and then eight nine seventy. Okay, so what do we have again? All right. We have two zero seven zero, and then we have one seven nine four. Add up. What do we have? Twelve four twenty. Ten seven six four. So this is your what? Profit before interest and tax, right? Okay, so we have interest expense. Of course, that would be, we have uh, 2484. Then we have 2153. What do we have again? Interest income. Interest income. So what's interest income there? One, two, four, two. Then one, zero, seven, six. What do we have now? Profit before tax. So what do we have? Eleven one seven six. Then we have uh, nine six eight eight. All our tax three five seven seven three one hundred two 
So what do we have? 7601. And then what do we have here? 6588. So this is the profit after tax. So this is the point that we need for the consolidation. Okay, so let's go. What adjustment do we have here? Goods worth 1,300,000, profit margin inclusive, sold to Queen's PLC by King's PLC. We are yet to be sold by Queen's as at the date of reporting. So we have, what do we have now? That's like intra-group sales and purchases, right? So I think we've done um, that already. I've talked that already. So what do we do? Let's get the sales value, the cost of sales, then we can adjust accordingly, right? What do we have? So that's like saying uh, cost price plus profit is equal to what? Selling price, right? So we don't know the cost price, but we know the what? Profit margin, which is 30%, according to the question. So that will be 0 0.3 of the cost. All equal to the selling price, we have the value. What's the value of selling price? 1.3. So that's one, three, right? So this would be 1.3C is equal to 1, 300,000. So that means C here will be 1, 300,000 divided by 1.3. So C would be what? This is, this divided by, I think that's 1 million, but let's check. So 1, 300,000. Divided by 1.3, that's 1 million. So we have 1 million. So this is the cost price, right? So that means our profit to be what? Selling price minus cost price. That is uh, 1, 300,000 minus 1 million, right? So that would be 300,000. So we have the selling price and the cost price. So it's an intra group. So that means that in these sales we have here, there's a sale that has been made by the holding company to the one subsidiary that is yet to be sold at the time of reporting. Of course, at separate entity level that can't stand, but at, an, at group level we can't stand, so we have to adjust for it. So that sales of 1.2 we have to go out. So we have, so we have 1, 300 here going out. The cost is 1 million. It's going out soon because this will be 300. So let's go. So what do you have here? This is 30,000 plus 26,000 minus 1,300. 54,700. So cost here. Will be what 16200 plus 14040 minus 1000 29240. So that will be 54700 minus 29240. We have 25460. So we have to check. Let's check. So we have uh, 13,800 plus 11,960 minus 300, 25,460. So we're there. So what are our total expense here? Our total expense here. Be what? So 
450. Of course, in this presentation, the interest incomes are separate, okay? 3450 plus 2990. So this is that share. Of course, that will be 6440 here. So here it will be what? 300. Okay? So what do you have? You have um, 25460 minus 6440. So that's 19020. So you test it here. We have N350 plus 8970 minus 300. We have uh, what do we have there? Excuse me, let's test this properly. Twenty-five four sixty minus six four four zero. Nineteen zero two zero. So, what do we have here? Though? It is thirteen three fifty. Okay, plus eight nine seventy minus three hundred. Now we see here. Excuse me. Then 350 plus 8970, okay, minus 300. So we have 19020. Okay, so other income. What's other income here? We have uh, two zero seven zero plus 1794. Okay, that will be three eight six four. So we still three hundred here. Okay, so minus nineteen zero two zero. We have a fifteen one five six. So we test it here. We have a twelve. 420 plus 10764 so minus 300 what do we have here I'm sorry this is plus excuse me Nineteen zero two zero plus three eight six four. This is twenty two eight eight four. So if you test it here, we have a twelve four twenty. Plus ten seven six four minus three hundred twenty two eight eight four. Okay, so interest expense now. The note says interest expense of interest expense of Queen's PLC includes interest on loan of five million received from King's PLC at an annual interest of ten percent. So this is a intra group what this is. Not one, but well, let's see uh, additional information one. So we have additional information two. So there's loan of five million. Interest on what loan is what? 10%. So that would be 10 over 100 times 5 million 
zero, 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 zero. So what do we have there? That's 500,000. So we said the expense, in the interest expense of Queens, the interest on the loan received from what? Kings is there. So that means the interest income of kings that received from queens is also there. So we have to what eliminate, right? Good. So the interest expense here includes for queens here, it includes this as an expense. So that has to go out. Okay? Then the interest income. Are you there? The interest income for kings also includes what? This as what? As an what? Income. So that has to go out here. Okay? So I think this still remains 300. However, this will change. So we have uh, 2484 plus 2153. Okay, minus 500. So here we have 4137. So for this one here, we have 1242 two plus 1076 minus 500. So we have uh, what? This. 1818. Eight. Okay? So we take this out. What do we have here? We have 22884. Okay? Minus 4137 and plus. One eight one eight. So I have here twenty five six five. So let's check. We have eleven one seven six plus nine six eight eight minus three hundred twenty five. Am I getting there? 11176 plus 9688 minus 300. So, what do we have? Let me be sure what we're doing here. Okay, so we have it there. 11176 plus 9688. Okay, minus 300. Okay, so that's it. So we have um, 2565, of course, in our transmission error somewhere. So we have the tax here. Tax is this. Three five seven seven plus three one hundred. What do we have here? Uh, six six seven seven.
So we have uh, we have a eighteen eight eight eight. Okay. So let's go. We have a seven six zero one plus six five eight eight. So minus three hundred there. So at thirteen eight 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 there. So this at this level we have the profit after tax. Okay. So with this here, we first we have just two adjustments basically: uh, intra group sales and what interest on intra group loan. So at this level, we can go ahead and prepare the what consolidated what income statement, right? So let's go. So we have. Uh, Kings and its what subsidiary. So we have consolidated consolidated uh, income statement for the year ended thirty first December two thousand and what eighteen. Okay. So what our turnover? So we have our turnover here. Turnover is twenty nine two forty. Cost of sales is sorry. Turnover is fifty four seven hundred. Cost of sales twenty nine two forty. This is our gross profit twenty five four sixty. We have total expense is what six four four zero. So we have a printing profit. Printing profit here is nineteen zero two zero. So we have other income. What about that income here? Three eight six four. So what do we have two two eight eight four. This is your profit before interest and what tax. So we have what interest expense here. Yeah? Interest expense is four one three seven. And here we have interest income. One eight one eight. So we have twenty five six five. This is your what profit before tax. Okay. All right. So what do we have now? What's our tax? Tax here is six six seven seven. So what do we have now? Thirteen eight eight eight. So this is profit after tax. Okay. Then what do we do? Less minority interest. I already explained all this earlier. So from here, this is attributable to okay the entire the, 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 the <coughs> owners, which is the holding company and the minority interest. So what minority interest here now? Of course, based on what we have here, holding company has ninety-five uh, percent. So minority interest is. Five percent. So that will be five over hundred times six five eight eight. So what do we have? Times six five eight eight three two nine point four. That's three two nine point four. 
So we have 329.4. So we'll take that out. We have the profit attributable to the group. We have 13558.6. So this is profit attributable to the what? To the group. So what do we do now? Let's take our proposed dividend of the holding company. What dividend for the holding company here? 3420. Then one three eight point six. Okay. So what do we call this now? So this is profit for the one for the year. So let's go. We have profit brought forward. So what's the profit brought forward? Of course, you see that of the holding company is what. One nine, of course, is that of the holding company plus the what post acquisition reserve of what the subsidiary, right? Good. So, uh, retain profits carry forward, or let's say brought forward, right? It's profit brought forward. So, for the holding company, we have how much? One nine hundred. So, for subsidiary, it will be. What that brought forward minus the word pre brought forward is one six four seven. So we have one six four seven minus what's the pre according to the question? Pre is six hundred. So we have six hundred. So that will be what one zero four seven. Let's check then times ninety five percent. One six four seven minus six hundred one zero four seven times zero point nine five. We have nine nine four point six five. Where's the point seven? Nine nine four point seven. So if we add this, that might be plus one nine hundred. Plus one nine hundred. That's two eight nine four. Two eight nine four point six five. We have two eight nine four point seven. So what do we have? Plus ten one three eight point six. We have thirteen zero three three point three. So this is the profit I got for. Okay, so what we've just done here is just to you know uh, test our understanding of what interest on intra group loans. Okay, so just take your time, go through it. If you have questions, you can reach me, you know, for clarification. So what what reach out for clarification? What I'm actually just saying here. Of course, you can see that the adjustment is just two. There are just two adjustments: the intra-group sales and purchases, and then the what intra-group interest or interest on intra-group loan. So we've done that to up to this level. So then we were able to what you know prepare the completed what profit and loss. So at this level, of course, you know how we got to this point. Then this minority interest here, of course, that the minority, the minority uh, percentage of what of the Profit as a tax, that we got this 329 here. Then we take that to get what? What is attributed to the group? Then we took out the dividends proposed by the group, and that's what we got for the year. Then the drop forward profit is that of the what? Would it come plus the post acquisition result of production profit of the subsidiary? Okay? So, what we're saying is 
So once you get uh, the post acquisition profit of the subsidiary, and then the percentage, okay, of um, the holding company or the preservation work profit, so we are now adding to that of the holding company to get what the profit buffer. So we add this to this, you have the profit what carry from. Okay. So this is just it. If you have questions, you can reach out to me for explanation. So just take your time, go through it. Okay. You know, to have an idea of what we're talking about. So next class we'll take another aspect of you know uh, group PL. Okay. Thank you. See you next class. Bye-bye.